Good morning from the beautiful village of Ulleri. Day one of our trek to Kopradana and a beautiful day to begin our trek. Today we are hiking up from Ulleri to Korepani. The itinerary for this trek starts from Nayapul, from where you begin the hike up to the Ulleri village. But the road now reaches all the way up to Ulleri, so you can take a vehicle from Pokhara to Ulleri and start your hike the same day towards Korepani. It is the month of October, which is a popular trekking season and also the month to celebrate the biggest festival in Nepal, Dasain also known as Bizaya Dasame. We can see some kids all set to fly kites. Flying kites during Dasai is a historical tradition to send a reminder to the god not to provide any more rain. The trail is mostly gentle uphill hike through the forest and we can see some small waterfalls and streams along the way. Along the way, you can find some small tea houses where you can take a break. The trail continues through a scenic area revealing a beautiful waterfall. After the uphill hike through the beautiful scenic section, we have now reached Nanget Hati, which is our stop for lunch. Hati in Nepali means rest house, and we will be taking a short break here. We are having tasty chicken tukpa for the lunch. With our tummy full, we make our way up towards the stone paved roads to reach Korepani.
वेलकम तो घोड़े पानी राजी है आ वोटर मालिक सोने यस यस ये आईट के नहीं था Welcome to the beautiful village of Korepani. Today we hiked for about 4 hours traveling a distance of 8 kilometers from Ulleri. Korepani is a beautiful village with panoramic view of the Himalayan mountain ranges surrounding it. The trek to Korepani is one of the most popular classic trek in Nepal. We'll call it a day today and spend the rest of the day exploring the beautiful folk scenery around Korepani. Tomorrow, we plan to hike up the famous viewpoint of Poon Hill and then continue our trek towards Kopra Dara. This evening, we decided to try out some local momo. The tasty momos with a hot cup of tea complemented very well with the cold weather of Korepani. The next day, we woke up early and headed up to the famous viewpoint of Poon Hill to enjoy a beautiful sunrise view of the Annapurna mountain ranges. is an amazing viewpoint with a majestic view of the mountain ranges. The view is truly spectacular as the rising sun kisses the snow-capped mountains and casts a golden light on the Himalayas. We can see beautiful view of Mount Taulagiri, Nilgiri, Barashikha, Annapurna South, Hyunchuli, and Machapuchre. The view is just amazing. After enjoying the beautiful views at Poon Hill, we headed down, had some breakfast and make our way towards Upper Chistabung, our destination for today. In the far background, we can see the ridge of Kopra Dara. Namaste! Namaste! On our way down from Korepani, we are delighted to be greeted by local kids from the surrounding village. A beautiful day for the trek. The road on our left leads to Tatopani, and we are taking right towards Kopradana. The trail from Gorepani to us Apachistabung 
can get confusing at times. So do pay special attention to these signs. The trail takes us through cornfields and farmlands with a spectacular view of Mount Taulagiri. We can see the village of Swata down below and in the background the towering peaks of Mount Taulagiri and Tukuche. With the beautiful countryside landscape surrounding us, we continue downhill through the farmlands. The trail takes us through the forested area all the way to the valley floor. From here, we can see the cliffside of Copra Ridge. The trail takes us down to a small river where we make a river crossing through the suspension bridge. After hiking for approximately 4 hours, we have now reached the village of Swata, where we will be taking a short break and have our lunch. After having our lunch, we make our way up towards Upper Chistibu. The trail can get confusing as we didn't find any signpost to guide our way. However, we asked around and a kind village woman pointed us to the right direction. We find very few trekkers along this route as we pass through beautiful forest. The route to Upper Chistabung from Swata is very relaxing and peaceful. On the way, we spotted a small hydropower project which provided 24-7 electricity to the Copra region. After crossing the river down below, we come across this lovely cottage. We enjoyed some hot cup of tea and had a good time here. It is a lovely place. It is a gradual uphill hike from the cottage through the forest towards Upper Chistabung. Hiking up through the forest, we reach the green pastures of Chistabong. It is a beautiful location surrounded by thick forest. And in the distance, we can see water falling from the cliffside. 
Today's hike to Upper Chistabung from Korepani dips down into the valley through the village of Swata before climbing back up again. With the beautiful mountain landscape and forest surrounding us, we hardly notice time go by. We have been hiking for almost 8 hours now. Finally, we have reached Upper Chistabung. Hiking a total distance of approximately 14.5 kilometers all the way from Korepani. Upper Chistabung is at an elevation of 2,975 meters. And we will be staying overnight at Hotel Rockland. Good morning from Upper Chistabung. A beautiful day today with a clear blue sky and a warm sunshine. Day 3 of our trek and today we are hiking up to Kopradana. After a third uphill hike from Upper Chistabung and above the tree line, we can see the cliffside of the Kopra Ridge. As we ascend, in the background, we can see Annapurna South alongside the ridge line of Kopradana. <laughs> yes. With the gain in elevation, the views are becoming truly amazing and the clouds rolling in and out creates a magical experience to this amazing view. A beautiful day for the hike. After hiking for about 2.5 hours and a total of 3.5 kilometers, we have now reached our destination Kopra Dana, which is situated at an elevation of 3660 meters. Atop the ridge, we find a single lodge where we will be staying for tonight. Social entrepreneur and rural internet pioneer Mahabir Poon founded this lodge and you also get free Wi-Fi here. From Kopradana, we have a beautiful, splendid view of Barashikar and Annapurna South. Beautiful. Today's hike was a third and a sweet one. Mostly uphill hike with an elevation gain of about 700 meters from Upper Chistabung with stunning mountain landscape surrounding us. This evening we are relaxing with a beautiful atmosphere of Kopradana and enjoying breathtaking views of the mountains with the setting sun. In the evening, local yak herds can be seen grazing at the slopes of Kopradara.
the view from Khopra Dada is breathtaking, especially during the sunset as the valley is filled with clouds and the mountains towering clear above, golden in color and glowing with the setting sun. A beautiful evening from Khopra Dada. Good morning from Khopra Dada. A beautiful day today with a clear blue sky and an amazing panoramic view of Mount Thaulagiri, Tukuche Peak, Nilgiri, Barashikhar and Annapurna South. The weather is just perfect with a clear sunshine and we have decided to extend our stay at Khopra Dada by doing a day hike towards the pristine and sacred mountain lake of Khair. Day 4 of our trek and an adventurous one towards the Khair Lake. Khair Lake is a sacred alpine lake situated at the foot of Annapurna South, nestled among those mountain ridges. It is a long hike today and there are no tea houses in between. So we headed out early this morning with lunch packs and plenty of water. It is a steep uphill climb through the stone staircases and the view surrounding us is simply breathtaking as we climb higher up towards Khair Lake, making for a scenic high mountain hike. Hiking up those well-paved stone staircases, we come across this grazing pasture where we can see a single hut used by the local yak and sheep herders. And in the distance, we can see Annapurna South towering high behind those mountain cliffs. The trail takes us through this high mountain valley where we can see Khair Khola River which originates from the Khair Lake. The remote high mountain landscape here is very surreal and the views are from out of this world. It is an amazing experience hiking up this valley.
Finally, after the endless staircases up the high mountains, we have now reached Khair Lake. Welcome to the beautiful alpine lake of Khair Lake, situated at an elevation of 4,660 meters. We can see a small temple of Khair Barani, sacred to the local community. Hindu pilgrims from down the valley walk up to the lake during the Janai Purnima festival. The lake is sacred to both Hindus and Buddhists alike. Trek to Khopra Dana and reaching Khair Lake has been a perfect week-long trek. As we hike off the beaten path with great views, this trek combines the best of what Nepal has to offer. Amazing mountain views, pristine forests, local villages and farmlands. Very few people know about this trek and is a great alternative to other popular treks in this region, taking you higher to another great viewpoint of the Annapurna mountain ranges. We had an amazing experience hiking all the way from Ulleri to reach the pristine Khair Lake and we encourage every trekker to try it out. With that being said, we'd like to conclude this video. Thank you for watching and Namaste.